Bro, people can't even wake up around here in peace. Like, fucking A, man. Alright, so pretty much what we did was we pretty much, the Eagles traded Sam Bradford to the Vikings, and we get a first overall pick for next year, which is 2017, and then we get a fourth rounder the next following year, which is 2018, which is fucking bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come here, Neil. Come here, kitty. Come here. <laughs> I scared the shit out of my cat. I'm sorry. But I'm just pissed off because what the fuck, yo? What have we seen from these backups to trade Sam Bradford? We've seen Chase Daniel do nothing but suck ass cheeks this entire season. Like, fucking A, man. And Carson Wentz, he got injured his first game. And, man, it was injured the entire preseason. So what have you seen to trade Sam Bradford away? Like, the only thing we've successfully done is we've, give, we've given the Cleveland Browns a fucking bomb-ass number one overall pick for this upcoming year. Guess what? We're going to suck. We have a questionable defense. We have a questionable ass fucking offense. I mean, Ryan Matthews can't stay injured. Kenyon Barner has never played a down of professional football in a regular season. Um, Darren Sproles is getting older. Our wide receiver crew, like, don't even get me started on our wide receiving crew. Our wide receiving crew is ass cheeks. Um... Offensive line is still questionable. Lane Johnson's not even played the first 10 games, so there you go right there. Um, and then we have a defense that's growing, I believe, can be a good defense. Like, that will keep us from going 0-16 as our defense. Um, but even then, they're still questionable as, you know, what they are. Because I don't think they've evolved yet, just because Jim Swartz is leading them. But, bro... What the fuck? You have now... Oh, my God. Bro, you have fucking Chase Daniel. Chase Daniel leading these motherfuckers now. Did you not see his week four performance? The man was Sam Bradford 2.0. The man sucks so fucking bad. And you... Number one, why is he your backup? And number two, why did you pay him all that money? Number three, why the fuck is he starting for us? I get you can't throw Carson Wentz in there right away because, damn, I believe that man's going to get eaten alive in his first year if he starts. But, fuck, man, why did you do this? It's annoying. All right, man, first of all, let me talk. Pros and cons about this thing. Pros. Yes, we did get his first pick from Bradford, you know, so he might get injured. I don't know what the, the pick is for that. Like, if he gets injured, like, if he doesn't play a certain amount, do we not get the pick for that or... I'm not sure how that goes, or if we just like, or if we get the pick, no matter if he gets injured the first game. I'm not sure how that goes. I hope that's not how it goes. I hope we just get the first pick, no matter what. Now I hope that, but um, we get the first pick back for next year, which is good because we know we need a first pick, and we already have our French so-called French choice quarterback. Yeah, um, so there's that, and we're rebuilding the offensive line pretty much, and. Depending on how bad the Vikings do this year, we'll get their pick. So if the Vikings go 0-16, motherfucker, we got the first round first pick. But, um, I don't know. I don't even know what's coming out of the draft next year. So <laughs> I'm not going to get too excited about that. Because obviously we're not going to pick up a quarterback next year. And if we pick up a quarterback next year, I'm like, fucking hell, man. I'm like, why? Why even draft Carson Wentz if you're going to draft another quarterback the following year? But hey, man, Eagles logic. Fucking Holly Roseman logic, man. Let's let's just we always gotta be in the fucking media. We always gotta fucking. <sighs> Sorry, I had to stop because I'm getting pissed off. And the cons of this is number one, we don't have Sam Bradford, so there goes that. I believe Sam Bradford is a good quarterback. True, he's injury prone as shit. Okay, that's fine, but he's still a good quarterback. He's the man is still accurate. The man can still come back from injuries and play like he never left in the first place, which is great. Accurate, decent-ass arm. Now, I don't want to say a decent leader because the man doesn't really seem like that, but the man doesn't overreact to shit. Like, the man can get sacked, but, like, eight times a game, the man can still get up like he just puffed a blunt of wheat. Like, yeah, like, homie can get up, like, huh, with a happy-ass face and everything. I'm just like, what the fuck? So, that's decent, you know, he doesn't lose his cool in the game. 
But I'm just I'm just so upset because what the hell, man? I mean, how far do you think Chase Daniels is going to take us this season? There's no way you think he's going to take us to the playoff experience, experience, appearance. There's no fucking way. True, I have to admit, the Cowboys do suck. The Cowboys are not making the playoffs. The Giants, it's, it's, like, I'm telling you, the record between um, the Giants and the Cowboys, no, Giants and uh, Redskins, Giants and Redskins are the, are the two teams you're going to look at to take this division this year because we're not going to take it. I was so excited about this season because I think, you know, the wide receiving crew has a chance to pull their head out of their ass and start catching passes, which, you know, you're paid to do in the NFL, so why the fuck are you dropping passes, bitch? Okay, and then we have Brian Matthews, which, well, if he can stay healthy, is a decent back, so, you know, we're not going to be completely shitty there. We upgraded the offensive line a little bit, so, hmm. um, and then we still have Sam Bradford, but now we don't. So what do I have to look forward to? Because Chase Daniel ain't going to get these receivers the ball in the first place to get them to catch the ball. So there goes that, and then we have still suspect as fucking offense altogether. And now with Chase Daniel in there, this time the offense is going to lose their cool altogether. So I'm like, what the fuck? And besides, who would we draft next year? Anyway, we have so many fucking problems on this offense. Who would we draft? If the Vikings did do the worst they could possibly could and we got the first overall pick for next year, who? Who, 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 owl time? Who the fuck would we pick? Hmm. Well, if I don't know who's... Because I don't watch college football. College football is ass to me. Like... They, the players just go there, grow up, and then go to the NFL. So why watch it if you're just going to keep watching them in the NFL? But I believe if the number one overall pick talent is either one a wide... Not a wide receiver. We don't. No more wide receivers because we draft them and then they suck. But if the number one overall talent is either... Oh, shit. Maybe a running back? Maybe possibly... Or maybe um, a defensive a defensive end because if a defensive end goes that high, um, defensive end or defensive tackle goes that high. Like remember JJ Watt, he went pretty high. And look how fucking amazing he turned out to be. The last one I know is Joey Bosa, who went this year, but we haven't seen a play yet, so we can't really say anything on Joey Bosa. But I wanted I wanted I wanted either defensive lineman or you know. Someone great on the offense. Like, okay, running backs don't get taken in the top five, you know, unless you're Ezekiel Elliott and you're desperate for a running back like the Cowboys were. But I'm just saying we need so many holes. There's so many holes to plug up in this offense. Oh, fuck! You know what? Don't be an Eagles fan. People, if you're reading this and you don't have a team yet, don't grow up in being an Eagles fan. This is just like this is the shit we deal with on a yearly basis, bro. We deal with this shit so much. It's so annoying. Like I'm glad the Chip Kelly era is over, but now we're back to rebuilding from the Chip Kelly era, and I believe this is gonna take at least two more years to get this shit down. Because damn, if you trade away your starting quarterback eight days, that's right, count them eight days before the season begins. You know, goddamn, we're rebuilding now. Like, he's pretty much said, Sam Bradford's done. We're rebuilding this team from scratch. Here we go. Let's go. We got this. But the shit that sucks about rebuilding, this shit don't take just one year. This shit takes about two, three years to get all your pieces in there. And then when you got all your pieces, then they have to gel together. And then they have to start playing well together. And they have to start coming into their prime. And then, bam. Then they'll finally put it. That's probably going to take another two years. So that's what I hate about, you know, just, ugh. Bottom line, I think the season's done. I don't have any hope for the Eagles this season. I had little hope for them to begin with, as long as Bradford can stay healthy. But now, my hope for them is gone. I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm a diehard Eagles fan, so I'm still going to rep my team no matter what. You know, through and through, Eagle blood all day. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and make drastic fucking cowboy fan predictions. And I'm like, well, my team's going to go to the playoffs. <laughs> I'm like, no. Our team is not going to the playoffs. And if some by miracle chance our team goes to the playoffs, I'm going to make another video come that time and be like, what? How? How did we go to the playoffs? We have nothing on both sides of the fucking ball. How? 
But anyways, no, this is David Rocks, and I want to hear your guys' comments on this. So if you can drop a comment down there, tell me how you tell me how you Eagles fans or tell me how you NFL fans feel about this. Tell me how dumb you think this is. Tell me how smart you think this is. Tell me how you think this is. Period. But that's it, man. I'm out.